and it is still March 13, 2014, and I don't know how many videos I've posted already, but I'm posting this one. Now, I mentioned in a video of mine earlier that Blackwater has been implicated as the snipers. Now, I say Blackwater, I know that they've changed their name several times, but most people know the name Blackwater. Same organization, change name. So, Blackwater is the most familiar name, and they understand that Blackwater are mercenaries. Private mercenaries that the United States government enlists to go into countries to destabilize them, like they have done in the Ukraine. The article that I mentioned earlier I linked to below that video, and I can't even remember because I've put up so vi many videos, but I need to put up this one because here is another um, article attesting to Blackwater being in the Ukraine. So, videos have sprung up on YouTube alleging that the U.S. Private Security Service, formerly known as Blackwater, is operating in the eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk. Western press is hitting back, accusing Russia of fabricating reports to justify aggression. There are videos in this, embedded in this article, which I will link to as well. The authenticity of videos allegedly made in downtown Donetsk on March 5 is hard to verify. In the footage, unidentified armed men in military outfits equipped with Russian AK assault rifles and American M4A1 carbines are securing the protection of some pro-Kiev activists amidst anti-government popular protests. The regional administration building in Donetsk has changed hands many times with either pro-Russian protesters or pro-Kiev forces declaring capture of the authority headquarters. In the logic of the tape, at some point the new officials appointed by revolutionary Kiev managed to occupy the administration, but then, as the building was surrounded by angry protesters, demanded to secure a safe evacuation. This is where the armed professionals come in. The protesters, after several moments of shock, started chatting, shouting, Blackwater, and mercenaries, as well as faggots, and who are you going to shoot at? But the armed men drive off in the blink of an eye without saying a word. Hmm, surely these men were not Blackwater, simply because such a company does not exist anymore. It has changed its name twice in recent years and is now called Academy. The latest article on the case, published by the Daily Mail, claims that though these people did look like professional mercenaries, they conducted the operation too openly. On the face of it, the uniforms of the people in the videos are consistent with U.S. mercs. They don't look like Russian soldiers, mercs. On the other hand, why run around in public making a show of it? Well, they're putting everything in our face and just lying on mainstream media. Why cover anything? Why bother going to the extraordinary extent of covering up things when it doesn't matter, when the lies are so bold and in your face and Americans still just go on about their business as if everything is just hunky-dory? Or they just don't care they're being lied to? Why bother going the extra step? Just put it in your face. Um... I think the question is whether the evidence available warrants at least reasonable speculation. Ahmed also, and Ahmed is Dr. Nafiz Ahmed, a security expert with the Institute for Policy Research and Development. So he also added that, of course, the other possibility is it's all Russian propaganda. Why would Russia need to make such provocation? The Daily Mail explained that any suggestion that a U.S. mercenary outfit like Blackwater, no, now known as Academy, had begun operating in East Ukraine could give Russian President Vladimir Putin the pretext for a military invasion. <laughs> Our Western media outlets are maintaining that a Russian invasion has already began because the heavily armed military personnel now controlling all major infrastructure in Crimea, Crimea are obviously Russians. 
armed men march outside an Ukrainian military base in the village of, and I'm not going to try and pronounce that, near the Kremlin city of Simferopol. Uh, okay, that's the, the caption under this picture. All right, the Daily Beast media outlet went even further. On the last day of February, it published an article alleging that polite Russians in Crimea, Crimea are actually employees of Russian security service providers. While there are indeed several military-oriented security service providers in Russia, it, however, appears highly unlikely that all of them combined could provide personnel for such a wide-scale operation. At the beginning of the week, Russian state TV reported that several hundred armed men with military-looking bags arrived to the international airport of Kiev. It was reported that the tough guys are employees of Greystone Limited, a subsidiary of vehicle services company LLC belonging to Blackwater XE Academy. Greystone Limited mercenaries are part of what is called America's Secret Army, providing non-state military support not constrained by any interstate agreements. That was reported by the Voice of Russia, but they are not the only ones. A Russian national that took part in clashes in Kiev was arrested in Russia's Brerensk, I don't know, region this week. He made a statement on record that he met a large number of foreigners taking active part in the fighting with police. He claimed he saw dozens of military-clad people from Germany, Poland, and Turkey as well as English-speaking speakers who were possibly from the U.S., and that was reported by another Russian newspaper. So, the one thing that should raise eyebrows is that our mainstream media doesn't report any of this. So, while we know that Russia... And their mainstream media, their state-owned media, absolutely reports propaganda. So do we. That's right. If you don't know, we actually made legal. It's legal now for the military and the Pentagon to use propaganda against American citizens. And we, though we don't call it state-owned Media, it is kind of state, corporate-owned media. That's what we have today. Anyway, I'll link below to the videos. I'll link below to the article. And, boy, it does take an awful lot of effort to figure out what the hell is going on. It takes an awful lot of effort to know what's going on in the next state where we live here in this country because of our wonderful, lying, state, corporate-owned propaganda machines called the mainstream media.